At the International CES 2019, Sony introduced the 360 Reality Audio, a format that allows users to experience audio as if they were at a live event. Fast forward to AES 2019, the convention of the Audio Engineering Society that we attended recently, and special sound is one of the main topics of the show. The new experience is delivered by Sony's object-based spatial audio technology. Object-based audio technology is becoming a popular form of recording as it offers an immersive experience to listeners, kind of what happens with images experienced in virtual reality. With object-based audio, the sound sources are tagged with information about position, volume and other data. These data are then decoded and played back by the receiving audio devices. The decoding is the most demanding part of the technology, but the result is a sound that is identical to the original source. The user, therefore, is immersed in sounds coming from different directions and with different intensity, just like intended by the artist. This is not a new technology since Dolby developed a similar format for home theatre systems back in 2012. You have a chance to experience audio recorded with spatial technology at the end of this video. The demand for better and more immersive audio comes from users that are becoming more and more engaged with virtual reality and with video games. So far, content creators have been focusing on the visual component of virtual reality, but now the audio quality too needs to be addressed to offer a fully immersive experience. In games, for example, players need to automatically react to key sound cues, and the sooner the reaction, the higher the chances to win or survive in a game. These features are becoming very important, especially with the increasing popularity of e-games tournaments. This is why Microsoft, Google, Facebook and Unity have come up with plugins that allow creators with no programming skills to add spatial sound to a game. For cinemas and home theatres too, the days of surround sound are gone, as listeners want a more immersive experience, even from their home audio equipment. Sony is looking into these market segments and into a variety of audio devices to make its format available, though the initial focus will be on Sony's headphones and speakers. The object-based technology works actually better with headphones, as the quality is not affected by size of a room and by the elements in it. And to play back Sony 360 Reality Audio in particular, users will not need to invest in any special device. To deliver the best possible musical experience, however, it will be necessary to measure the hearing characteristics of the individual user's ear and apply signal processing to improve the sound quality. To this end, Sony is developing an app that will enable users to take photos of their own ears with a smartphone so that the hearing characteristics can be analysed. The music signal is then customised based on the user's ears and the result is a superior music experience. Speaker systems which project sound in all directions will also be able to reproduce a 360 reality audio experience. When the 360 Reality Audio was first presented at the International CES 2019, Sony announced that he was going to build a musical ecosystem around it by working with professionals in the creation, distribution and playback of music content. Today, the ecosystem is your reality, as Sony's format has been accepted by streaming services like Amazon Music HD, Deezer, Nax.net, Tidal and Napster, for example. Sony is also working with Fraunhofer, IIS, part of Europe's largest organisation for applied research to make the format compatible with others. Sony has also partnered with platform and chipset providers in order to make 360 Reality Audio usable in a wide range of future connected devices, including Amazon Alexa and Google Chromecast. As for content creation, Sony is collaborating with some of the major studios, including Live Nation, Sony Music Entertainment, Universal Music Group and Warner Music Group, among others. And the list will grow in the future.